back into the tunnel. And Moscow guys over there, whoa! It's uh, gigantic, it's uh, imperial, it's powerful, it's Russia. Alexander Mark, by the way, this is Alexander the first in the honor of victory of Russian people. You all don't want to wake up the bear. To Moscow, to Berlin, to Minsk. Everything for the front, everything for victory. Oh my God, guys. Awesome place to get a picture that you're in Moscow. That's the uh, Moscow city. Same thing, and kids are uh, taught proper history. Some kind of a... Uh, It says 1942. This is like an amazing spot, by the way, for real. Russia has to be named the bad guy, even the history is now being re-narrated. The heaviest losses, it took the heaviest hit from the Nazi Germany. Check it out, this huge flag. Wow. We have like a grill house, bone chicken, Soviet style, Park Pagede. Oh, it's clean. What? Huge flag. There is a Belarusian front. And wow, check it out. Now this is some view. This here is a 142 meters tall. That's a, check it out, what a view. Oh my God. Huge horse cutting off the head. And I'm gonna continue to the other side of the park because this is Moscow city. I'm gonna explore. old information like uh, poster uh, holders see it here all right Here are Moscow, Moscow arches. Is it a Moscow gates? My map shows the Finnish name, so I don't know. We're gonna check it out later, depending on how I edit this. But we're gonna go now to the Victory, uh, Victory Park, Park Pagued over there.
back into the tunnel. Welcome to Park Padiede. There's a lot of victory museums here. Let's go check out the... It's a triumphal arch. All right, not Moscow gates. That's St. Petersburg. This is triumphal arch or arc. Did it start raining? <sighs> so guys, this is next to Park Pabiede. There is this uh, triangle arch behind me. We're gonna check out it closer. Uh, here we can see and also the text about information about campaign of the Grand Army. All right, this is you have to spend time actually to uh, inspect all this. So this is has to do with the Napoleon War. There we can see dates talking about the the advancements of the war. This is very similar. This one here is very similar to the one in Moscow. Sorry, the one in St. Petersburg. At the there are Nar Narvsky gates, which are like triumphal gates. And then there's uh, also Moscow gates. There's also Moscow gates, I think, in uh, what, what city was it? But anyway, there are many Moscow gates. And now it's starting to rain. We have to, guys, we have to run and be protected by Moscow. <laughs> Let's go, guys. So we are in a huge prospect between the prospects. secret police check it out guys whoa dreams file me uh, barota 1814 the day I was born And Moscow guys over there. Whoa! Man, man, man. Can you understand how enormous this is? It's enormous. Everything in Moscow is enormous. It's uh, gigantic. It's uh, imperial. It's powerful. It's Russia. Wow. Let's take a selfie. There's some stuff on my phone. Sweating all day. Guys, we are now walking right under. And check it out. Alexander Marks, by the way. This is Alexander the First. One of my favorites. It says uh, Moskovsky triumphal ar arc in the honor of victory of Russian people in the uh, Patriotic War of 1812. All right. And this was built in 1829 and 1834. 
under the uh, guidance of architect Osip Ivanovich Bove. Sculpt sculptor Ivan Petrovich Vitali, Ivan Timofeyevich Timofeyev, and uh, uh, renovated in 19. Check it out during the Soviet time, 68. Now, well, there's a lot to see over there, but we have to go to the Victory Park first. So, right next to the Triangle Arch, Arch, Arc, we can see this information about Russian forces movements in 1813 to 1814. So, here is, uh, here is Danzig, Berlin, Brienne, and Paris, Paris. This is Russian army entering Paris in 1814. Guys shouldn't forget back in Paris. The bear, you won't, don't want to wake up the bear. But guys, I've had an awesome time in, in, in Moscow. Just awesome. I actually absolutely love this place. It's a bit hard on you. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I can feel it in my, definitely in my legs. That's, uh, this place is uh, humongous. It's uh, way beyond comprehension. This is uh, population wise, this is the biggest city of Europe. Think about that. And I'm uh, really excited now to see Park Pabiede. It's on one of my, well, this is my initial trip to Moscow. So this is my, one of my like go-to places since I have to cover the bases and then continue. You know, that's how I roll. Right, let's go down in the tunnels. And by the way, it, it, it's, uh, it rained whole day, uh, whole night. So it's really, really fresh. The smell is really fresh. It's, uh, but still it's um, sweaty, you know. Is it humid? What's the word? No, this is not army. This is laser tags, despite what you thought. All right, watch the Papadia. It says Victory Park 1. All right, let's go through here first because we're going to go back. We're gonna go back anyways to film more, for, film more stuff. Oh my God, check this out. Check this out. Sort of a history about Park Pabiede. So this was constructed in honor of uh, Russia's victory over uh, in a uh, Great Patriotic War, also known as World War II for you guys. And uh, the Park Pabiede, which means literally uh, Victory Park, offers powerful reminders of Russia's suffering during the war, as well as providing views over the skyscrapers of Moscow. The entrance uh, to the park is marked, marked by a long promenade surrounded by fountains, which leads up to 142 meter high obelisk covered in representations 
of scenes from the war. Behind the obelisk, there is a, also a war memorial museum, and further on down the hill, an exhibition of tanks, warplanes, and other heavy weaponry. Beyond the park stretches on uh, into the forest and down towards the tributary of the Moscow River. Because I'm a history buff and I'm interested in the war, this is definitely an important piece of Russian Moscow, like uh, heritage, Russian her heritage, and of course, highly interesting. Plus, it's an awesome park, I believe. So I guess we go check it out. I don't think you need a wide angle. This place is so huge anyways. Kind of reminds me of, of the uh, Heroes of Leningrad um, Memorial in south of St. Petersburg. Check out the video. But uh, otherwise, it's much, much bigger. All right, so this is, like I said, a place to remember place to uh, remember the uh, the events and heroes of the war this is in English though but yeah so so let's check out so we are now where are we we are here I think so seven so first we have a uh, man I don't know whatever that is letters to the front we're gonna have their nine then what soldiers had in their backpack I think then AK-47 all right and number two is uh, what all right I think I guess I guess we just have to walk and we just find out as we go along. Here we have, by the way, Aeroflot. I flew with Aeroflot to, from St. Petersburg, Russia's number one aero, uh, aero company. All right, to Moscow, to Berlin, to Minsk. And here it says, everything for the front, everything for victory. And here is to Leningrad. Yes, actually, I know, that's east. Check out. I just took a selfie. All right, guys. There's a lot of exhibitions about, like these are for about the signals, well, people who signalizes in the front or in the battle areas like this. We're not gonna go through them all because that would be very, very, you know, time taken, time consuming in a wrong way because you can spend a week here if you want to, right? And explore, let's check it out. This Moscow, it's, a, it's actually a clock, check it out. Oh my god, guys, we need a scooter and there are some skyscrapers over there in the back, new ones. You see? Awesome place to get a picture that you're in Moscow. It says Moskva, Moscow. Can I fit it in the picture? What do you think? Why do I it's so dark? I think so. Mm. 
And in case you're wondering, that's the uh, Moscow city that I also you can find on my channel. guys let's continue exploring this you got to see this place from uh, from above it's like crazy it's crazy beautiful Soviet statues let's go check it out Iron Cross Wow behind modern Russia and under construction Moscow under construction check this out this is amazing this guys is beautiful like same thing and kids are uh, taught proper history all right let's go forward man have to get a selfie in you know got it oh, wow let's go closer Russian is this like this is this is by the way uh this is in honor of, I th thought about why the Iron Cross and here's like a Russian Romanov family uh, coat of arms. This is, uh, this is actually uh, in honor of Napoleon, uh, war against Napoleon. So this is the spot where where Napoleon came to Moscow actually and, uh, and expected to be handed she said handed uh, the Moscow from Alexander the first Wow beautiful 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 guys we just getting started is that the park Pobeda? we will continue but let me check out this one thing here quickly that's the police police like a uh, small uh, I think yeah I think this is the uh, that's the museum here I think I'm gonna go to the cross and let's go check it out closer. No, this is not Park Pabede. Ah, I don't know what's this. It says Park Pabede, but it has nothing in it. Let's go quickly all the way up. These have some strong, you know. Uh, oh my God. I just had a flashback from the huge hill back in the, back in my grandma's place. It's uh, Varonyes, and uh, down there is a. Uh, it's down the south. I mean, down there is a uh, a lot of hills. One hill you have to go across if you need to go to the, you know, to uh, where you grow potatoes, potatoes and vegetables and stuff. So I remember when there was a rain, it's such a steep hill that uh, the water is so fast, rap rapid. So actually, uh, it was hard to walk as a kid upwards. I had the same feeling right now. Check it out. Here's a cross. I think it might have st stands here maybe for a might be me in a church 
that was you that used to be here just maybe these are stalinist era buildings here and here is a whoa forgotten cross Wow, we are, by the way, high. High up. There's like some kind of a... I don't know. Something... Uh, it's not a river. It's not a... It's not a river. It's not a canal. I don't know what it is. Vodohranilish. Check it out. New buildings built. Awesome, right? continue right we're back on the alley Alia here is the uh, here might means blueprint all right so we're gonna spend a lot of time here guys <laughs> it's just so much let's see if i put it in pieces or something because we are now we are we walking here here we are we're going the wrong way i guess so yeah here's the church love the monument more most important monuments more important building 1945 museums here and there exposition of a uh, fleet over here and also uh islamic church beautiful fountains so here we have uh, lots of uh, I don't know what you call these they all have different meaning so these are like uh, I think these are burial sites for the heroes of the war for the fallen ones I think so yeah let me put the white angle over here this is partisans partisans of the war and here is a Cherno, hold up. Chernomorsky flotso. So this is Black Sea sailors. And, uh, and by the way, not memorial sites. I think they're just like honorary memorials. Yeah. So this is for the Black Sea Admiral Oktyabersky. I've seen his name somewhere. There's a, by the way, a. Uh, a nice, uh, you know, like a city view location. It's closed, of course, unfortunately. So yeah, we have a uh, different uh, fronts being uh, commemorated here. And there is more of them. And there's a lot of those, so we're gonna just de deviate from the from the route, from the route. Is it route or route? I always wonder. I think it's like English or American English difference. But you have to see this. Oh my God, right? It says 1942. I think this calls for a picture. Hold up, it's gonna be an awesome pic. You'll see.
check it out. <laughs> this is like an amazing spot, by the way, for real. Oh. I feel like, uh, I know that in the West, the narrative has uh, changed, it was stronger. So there's no like, uh, uh, and because Russia has to be named the bad guy, even the history is now being re-narrated to fit Western purposes. I truly believe it because it's like, uh, yeah, it's piece of the piece of the game of the current game, I believe so. So um, it's very unfortunate because don't mix history, even though history does influence the future. But still, you know, you cannot overwrite overwrite the fact that Russia carried the heaviest losses. It took the heaviest hit from the Nazi Germany. And yes, I know what I'm talking about. All the special, most powerful armies were fighting the Russians. And I use the word Russians and Soviets since you guys, not you guys, but many of you like to say so, even though it's a lot more, it's Soviet Union uh, altogether, but especially Russians. Sure, in a, in a very important, well, basically hand in hand with Belarusians, Ukrainians, all nations. Same thing happened with uh, UK, having the Indian army and other Commonwealth in its grasp. Uh, the only difference, they are not, they weren't slaves of the, uh, of the, well, Or slave. I'm not, I don't mean like slave slaves. Let me not rephrase that. <laughs> Check it out. This huge flag. Wow. There's also a cathedral, a church on this property and uh, some cafes. I think we need to have a... Let's guys uh, grab uh, something to eat. Let's see what we have. Maybe a Soviet drink. Bistro. We have like a grill house, point chicken. They have beer. <laughs> Guys, they have uh, beer here. We're gonna take a beer. It's hot day. Здравствуйте. А пиво какое? А чешское. Есть что-то рус русское пиво есть? О, отлично. Самое лучшее. Это с мясом вот это вот? С мясом вот так вот, говядина есть, самса очень вкусная. А пирожки? А это что? Там пирожки с капустой, с картошкой. А правая вот эта, кажется, одна, которая... Какая, большая какая? Да, большая. Это с картошкой, с капустой. А, да, да. С мясом вот самса вот такая, есть, очень вкусная, mm -hmm. говядиной. Пива хватит. О, мохито еще. У вас тут прохладно. А? Прохладно у вас тут? То есть приятно.
Там туалет будет впереди, да, там? А. а вы знаете, сколько там этот музей стоит? А, ну отлично. А водичка сколько у вас стоит? Что, холодная есть? Есть. So we have uh, some fast food here. Hot dog, French style. Французский. Ага. И водичку. Ага. Без газа. Можно карта, да? Спасибо. И вам. Here I am chilling, getting the, a beer. I walk so much that I actually need a need a beer. Yeah, let's put it that way. You can actually buy also here some Russian soups, South Caucasus, you know, Caucasus uh, area soups, harcho, and these type of. It's, I think this is pretty okay uh, eatery, dining place. They had uh, Czech beer, but they had also Zhigurevskaya. And you guys should know, it's my favorite. Russian beer, the cheapest, the best. So here we have a lot of bars. One is not open anymore. Well, not bars, coffee places and eateries and uh, Soviet style Park Pavede, Fortuna. And of course, beautiful church. And conveniently, a couple of toilets, which I will use now. Whoa, it's clean. What? But how it's possible? I don't know. Oh no, it's rain. It didn't rain. Wow. Check it out, guys. Huge flag. If it's gonna start raining badly, what we're gonna do is uh, go inside the museum and I'm gonna film it because uh, that's something I planned to do anyways. So we have a game plan. Check it out, it says born to be famous. There's a Belarusian front. Again, Belarusian front. There's a diff many Belarusian fronts, different marshals leading the army. And check it out, this continues much further. And another Belarusian front, Vasilyevsky, Commandushi Marshal, Commanding Marshal. And because I think this place is like uh, when it's a uh, good weather, people arrive here. It's like, uh, wow, check out that one. That's uh, one of the uh, uh, Stalin's tubes over there. Wow, nice one. But you gotta see this. <laughs> uh, I, I guess with time you can get used to these enormous sizes, you know. It's dripping summery, summery rain. Wow, check it out. Now this is some view.
this city is a great great city that's what I've I have to say it's great because no words can actually describe it better so we are now walking up towards the uh, this how many meters was it hold up I will tell you it's uh, 142 meters tall the rain is getting worse so guys this uh, this here is a 142 meters tall that's a that's pretty good oh wow check it out what a view oh my god it's getting worse so guys we are on the scent just re uh, reached the center of the park this is not the end this is the center of the park Park Pavede, Moscow city. Astonishing. Where is the flag? There it is. guys no entrance to the sides so uh, let's go just around it huge horse cutting off the head that's what you do that's what you get if you try to uh, If you try to uh, front with Russia, man, I'm wet already. I knew I had an idea just as I was walking out of my two uh, two star hotel. I had an idea. Hey, I should. I just bought a nice, cheap but nice uh, umbrella. I should take it with me. Nah, it won't rain even though I knew it was going to rain because the weather forecast says so I don't know all right guys we're entering the uh, the other side of the uh, of the central area here is the eternal flame here is the Stalins one of the seven sisters And uh, we're gonna go past and into the museum, into the war museum, Great Patriotic War. And I'm gonna continue. I hope the weather gets better. And I'm gonna continue to the other side of the park because it continues all the way there, you know? So yeah, there are many places where the, there's an eternal flame. Here is a place for soldiers, by the way. They're uh, not always here. You can feel the warmth, warmth from the from the eternal flame, by the way. 
and this is the central park of the uh, of the war museum central central museum of uh, of the war of uh, great patriotic war I'm gonna tell you the proper name in just a second I just need to get out of the rain all right this is Moscow City we're gonna explore the awesome I hope it's awesome museum but I think it is created by some artillery so we're gonna explore this place guys with you subscribe subscribe and uh, leave a like let's go This is the uh, Central Museum, Central Museum of the Great Patriotic War, 1941 to 45. Let's go in.